Hello everyone. Uh, we are having a bit of, uh, I was having a bit of technical issues. Hello, my name is Bianca. I will, uh, I will be the moderator for the event today. Thank you so much for joining us uh, in, uh, in this event. There are many, many people who have worked hard on it. Uh, all the people involved in uh, the project called Volume um, have been working hard for some time now. And we are here to happily share with you what we have learned and what we have created most, uh, most importantly. Uh, they will be the hosts, uh, the participants and the trainers will be the hosts of the uh, event today. I myself was a participant. I'm joining you from the Youth Center in uh, Baia Mare, Romania. And we have with us many people uh, who are from different parts uh, of Europe. And I'm sure uh, everybody who joined us here today is also watching us or participating uh, in the Zoom meeting from different parts of, um, of Europe. Uh, whether you are joining us in our Zoom meeting on our, on, or watching us on Facebook, again, thank you for joining us and choosing to spend this afternoon with us. It means a lot um, to us. Uh, so I will not... Uh, prolong this introduction any longer. And I will tell you a few things about what we will do today. Uh, first of all, we will have a so short introduction into volume, into what the project is. And um, this process will be helped by our trainers, just like they have facilitated uh, the process of the participants so far. Uh, further on, we have um, a message from uh, our special guest, the commissioner, for volunteerism and non-governmental organizations in Cyprus, Mr. Yanis Yanakis. Uh, moving on, there will be a short workshop speech uh, held by our team representatives because uh, the participants of volume have split into groups and they have each prepared a special workshop for you and special tools that they have created in this process. And they are ready to share it with you so if you have not yet chosen a workshop to participate in, uh, let me just remind you that they will, be, uh, they will happen at the same time. They will be parallel workshops, so you will need uh, to choose uh, one of them. This is why one representative from each team will be here with us and will tell you shortly uh, in a maximum two minute pitch what the workshop will be about so that you can uh, decide which you will join. Uh, moving on, we will have like uh, around 10 minutes uh, in order to travel, if you will, from our plenary room here on Zoom to each of the breakout rooms where uh, the workshops will, will happen. And this is uh, the next point you can see on the agenda. Uh, the parallel workshops will uh, take 45 minutes maximum. Some of them will probably be short, but shorter, but do not worry. There will um, be someone in the plenary at all times to help you if you get lost or you get disconnected or you have any other issues. Then after we've had our experiences in the practical workshops, online workshops, we will come back uh, into the plenary room for our final session. For those of us who are watching on Facebook, I would like to take this moment and mention that if you wish to join our, um, our practical workshops, you will have to uh, first register. You can ask for the registration link in comments on Facebook or in messages in the event or uh, private messages to the uh, organization hosting the event. And someone from our wonderful tech team will be there to help you uh, and assist you in this process of joining us. So it's not too late if you haven't registered yet. Uh, please do it if you are interested in uh, joining the workshops. Okay, um, I will 
stop right here for a moment because right now I would like to give the floor to the wonderful persons who were our trainers and who have guided uh, the participants into their learning process and into their creative process because uh, as I've said, the participants have also created workshops and tools to share with you today. I am speaking about Panayotis from Cyprus, Corina from Romania and Marcus from Germany. Uh, they will now take the floor and tell you a bit about volume, the process and how we got to this point. Dear trainers, you have the floor. Thank you, Bianca. Thank you. It's just a warm, very warm hello from me. I'm Corina from Romania, and you'll get a chance to, to hear more about, uh, about uh, me later on and about the project. We're just saying hello at this point. And I will just follow. Hello also from me, Marcus, situated or located in Weimar, European Youth Meeting Education Center and uh, being part of this wonderful team. And uh, the story behind, uh, we will share later as well. On again. Hello, we have to get used to this unmute mute thing. Uh, live is a bit easier or more difficult. We don't know, we will see. Uh, I'm Panagiotis from Politistico Ergastia Unomologiton. Uh, we are virtually hosting this uh, event at this moment. Uh, it's very nice having you all here. Um, and we will uh, get into a bit more details about uh, how this project started. Uh, and uh, the story goes back some 2015, uh, we would uh, share our screen right now just to travel you through this uh, experience. Well, uh, more or less, it looks like this. It's like this big, huge board with buttons connected to volume. Uh, nice catchy word volume, which stands for volunteer management enhanced, which is a very difficult word to pronounce. And we've been teased about this from our participants from different ways of saying this but the only way we would like to say it is very loudly so volume turn up the volume and quite enhanced but why enhanced what was this idea behind this of course there were several um, volunteer uh, projects for um, volunteer management about EVS about connecting to EVS uh, quite a few but we were seem we felt that uh, we seem to lack a bit the element of getting to volunteer management for organizations that already were into projects already were dealing with a lot of uh, elements and issues of volunteering management uh, and we felt that we needed to go deeper to the elements talking to people that already had an experience exchange tools exchange uh, good practices exchange bad practices because there is the, there was the learning mostly and the idea started of having like not just one single activity uh, but uh, setting up something that would take some time uh having the the participants together so 2014 we applied uh in cyprus for the to the national cyprus national agency for volume which was the first edition but volume having been not only one uh um, activity but two connected marcus can i have the second uh so uh beginning of uh 2000 and um, 15, April 2015 in Cyprus, we have the part one of our training. Uh, we get together, we start working on uh, the volunteer management steps, trying to understand a bit deeper of how we structure this process. Uh, and uh, in this, we already start talking about the period in between the two activities, which should have been a period of starting to put down ideas of how to make the quality of projects like this even better. So uh, we had some proposal of creating uh, an addition about EVS, about stories to promote EVS to the world. Um, and then we have uh, the second part following uh at that uh, year the same year um then exactly next year in january 2016 which happened in lisos in a village in Paphos, uh where we got together to see how we managed to implement these ideas these projects and disseminate them around the world and um, i would say that this was a very important moment because uh we could see the um, vision of the cyprus national agency at that time 
giving trust to a project that was kind of strange of applying for a double project instead of, of with two activities instead of one with an in-between period um, and we were really appreciating that they trusted us in this process having the good results and being here at this moment because it started well down there the next step Karina. <laughs> um all right uh, in 2015 we had the second edition of um, of this training again with two linked uh, activities the first one was in fact a local training just in cyprus where um again the national agency has uh, uh, we are very thankful that they saw the potential for this investment in um developing evs in cyprus which at that point was was only starting um and immediately after this uh, this local event with local participants some of whom are even here today uh, with us uh we had the very first international uh, under uh, the training and cooperation uh, activities uh, in Limassol with, uh, with a lot of, uh, of participants and focusing actually on, on developing tools. Uh, there was uh, a lot of uh, focus on the learning process of the participants, as you, as you can see in the photos, on reflection, on uh, pinpointing the challenges uh, that they were dealing with in their, in their uh, hosting projects. Uh, but we also had a lot of creativity, a lot of laughter and uh, fun and simulations of concrete activities in, uh, in uh, volunteering projects, in hosting, in selecting volunteers. So you can feel the atmosphere we certainly enjoyed and um, uh, the memories that we, that we saw when, that we, we had when looking back at these photos, volume has a lot of history. <laughs> And then one of these participants that you see there on the rocks is here with us today with a changed role. Marcus, please. <laughs> Just coming back to this picture, uh, you, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the energy which was transmitted in 2015 and which also I have to say, um, gave me or us the spark in Weimar uh, to, um, I was jumping back and forward. This is how it happens sometimes in presentations. And to, to go into a process which took us around about two years to apply with the concept of volume in front of the German National Agency and really to establish this idea of having two residential activities um, with a with a very strong focus on long-term investment and commitment of uh, partners and participants, um, two residential activities with a so-called practice phase in between. And what is also important to mention um, that all these activities came from this, okay, what are the needs and what are the big question marks for those being, those being involved in EVS or now ESC? And, um, just jumping to the next event, um, after implementing the first part the training in, in Weimar, we then met again after a, a journey which is, was more based on online communication and small working groups. We met again in, in Cyprus, the whole group, um, in order to promote uh, the outcomes of our work in front of the local community and the stakeholders on the spot in Cyprus. You can see here a few of the uh, impressions uh, also from the tools you can see yeah corinna is showing one of the the the, the results this so-called motivation cards this is a tea kit or a kit of cards uh, which you can play or work on with your volunteers here you see them uh, also again in the sunshine of uh, cyprus on a table um exactly and then we said okay um we had this fantastic um implementation but for this i give uh, uh, further to corinna yes the fourth edition of uh, of volume that's where we are uh, on the fourth one uh, took place in in 2019 and the name changed a little bit as you can see it's volume esvp standing for european solidarity volunteering project why because we were in the middle of the transition from evs 
to ESC. And uh, it made total sense for us to, to integrate this change and all the um, uh, chaos and doubts that came with it into the training process. Uh, we addressed the needs, the inquiries of the, of the group. It's this wonderful group that you see in the photo is actually our group uh, presenting to you today, the, the lovely participants of volume ESVP. Um, so we gathered first time in December 2019 in Weimar, and we were supposed to meet again uh, in May 2020 to conclude the process. Well, uh, somebody got in the way of these plans. And uh, what happened is that, of course, we, we rolled with the changes. We are here now, uh, one year <laughs> and more after. Uh, in this in this online event where we are pre presenting, they are presenting, in fact, the the working outcomes of of their working groups and uh, tools that they've been creating. Um, during this entire volume process, uh, just because of this in intensive networking that took place and that is very vivid in in the pictures. Uh, there were also parallel processes and new branches of volume uh, grew in distinct uh, projects with a life of, of their own. Uh, one of them was this called EVS Realm, Masters of the Learning Path, a key action two project that was coordinated by uh, my organization Provobis uh, in partnership with uh, Politistico and CEV in uh, Brussels and Anavoy in Poland. And we created um, uh, tools for mentoring because mentoring was one of the hot topics in, uh, in all uh, ESC or EVS volunteer management uh, uh, meetings before. Always there, was, there were questions on mentoring. So we took a special focus on, on developing mentoring tools and, and uh, integrating it as part of the quality in, uh, in volunteer management. And in the very direct um, dissemination process of EVS RAM, um, a great organization from Croatia, Synergy, called Synchro Synergy, showed interest in the topic of mentoring. Hello, Blanca, I know you're somewhere around here. So they, um, um, they were already working intensely with their mentors and asked for more details. And so we were very, very willing to replicate our successful training on mentors. And so we have a new project approved and ready to, to be launched called Forging Mentors Powers, which will happen hopefully sometime this year. These are just two of the projects, three more to come <laughs> by my colleagues. One, one of the strong elements of these projects, uh, I think exactly because they were long-term projects as well, was the connection and the networking. But when we say connections, we really mean connections with people on a personal and personal base uh, as friends, colleagues, and uh, um, being able to trust each other. So uh, things came up very fast. Uh, another uh, project with uh, an organization from France, Horse Piste, uh, from Ben uh, as a contact, who was already in 2015 edition of Volume. Um, we were partners in this project they led, the Good, the Youth, and the Volunteer, uh, a Key Action 2 project. We took two years to uh, develop with uh, more branches uh, of uh, uh, good um, practices, but also developments in other trainings. Um, so these strong connections of these long term projects are really there. They exist. And the next one would be Marcus. Oh, okay. Uh, I can talk about this. Well, um, linked to the international events, we also had uh, local events happening at the same time. Uh, a collaboration with Marcus in Cyprus. This was a local um, uh, training uh, developed and organized by the National Agency in November 2019. I think the last things that happened were in 2019 as residential uh, meetings. Uh, and this was again focused uh, quite a lot on the quality of ESC programs on locality. Uh, Cyprus has invested a lot in developing these projects for EVS and ESC. 
and we are very proud to 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 say that volume who had a, a big um role to play in this process uh, and a lot of connections between the local organizations as well marcus and um, I just, oops, now it's jumping back again. I really have to learn how to deal with these tools. Um, and we are in front of uh, a next edition, uh, focusing on the mentoring learning path. And this is the project in the kingdom of volunteering, the mentor's journey, which is supposed, um, and now I hope it's working, now it's jumping again backwards, which is supposed to start now in April already, April 21, as you can imagine, already approved last year. We were planning to run the first edition, the training in Weimar already in autumn, starting to think, okay, what can we do? What can we do? And now we are implementing it and adapting our concepts on the online reality and will run the first activity online in April 21 and hoping for, and again, we are implementing this two phases, two residential activities uh, in between the, the practice phase uh, with the autumn edition then uh, on Cyprus in autumn 21. Um, so uh, the call for participants is still open. Um, some of the uh, German colleagues which are in the room, they might have seen the call for participants, for German participants, because we have a handful of places. And But also, if you are interested, the other colleagues from all over Europe to become, to get more information on this project, um, we have uh, uh, like 10 or 12 international partner organizations on board. Um, we are eager to share their contacts in case you have interested mentors. Of course, we cannot promise anything, but there's the offer in the room. If you have an interested mentor and it somehow fits with the administrational background of the project, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to contact us if you want to have more information on the kingdom of volunteering, the mentor's journey, a project very much focusing or solely focusing on the learning path of the mentors in ESC projects. Um, finally, and um, now jumping again, I really have to learn that. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, finally, and this, they said you are the German, sorry for, for, for saying that, uh, you do the statistics. No, uh, kidding, uh, I took it. Um, so looking uh, at, at, at some numbers in all in all, eight activities, uh, eight editions, um, in all in all, round about 125 participants in the different editions, um, 17 countries involved, um, 14, yeah, let's say outcomes, tools, as we said, especially in these practice phases, uh, little working groups were working on very specific uh, outcomes. And with this, we mean uh, kids, games, uh, flyers, brochures, um, tools, all kinds of tools, um, booklets, um, and a few of them you will get to know later on because they were also partially developed in this edition. Um, and, and this might be my last uh, sharing with you for the moment, uh, two local events and one online event to promote the project and its outcomes. Yeah, that's uh, all from my side, our side, and we give back the word to the wonderful moderation, uh, Bibi. Thank you. Thank you so much for, uh, for your presentation. Uh, it was a real joy to be with them in this learning process. They have uh, done really a lot of work and uh, you, can, you can see that. So thank you so much for your presentation and thank you for introducing us to this wonderful uh, volume world. Uh, and for giving an opportunity to so many people to go deeper into volunteering and to experimenting and growing and learning each other and from each other. We will now move on to our special guest uh, for today, and we will give the floor to the Commissioner for Volunteerism and Non-Governmental Organizations in Cyprus, Mr. Yanis Yanakis, to whom we also say thank you to be joining us today. Ms. Yanakis. Thanks for the invitation. Thanks, Panayoti. Um, in Cyprus, the last few years, uh, we tried to upgrade, let's say, or reimagine the, the, the volunteer sector. Uh, but to do that, you need also deeper uh, analytic approaches. You need professional management uh, because uh, the society is changing. The volunteers themselves, they are changing. So what are you doing? Uh, 
uh, here today, it is important. It is important to learn from each other. Uh, it is important to use uh, European programs like the um, European Solidarity Corps. It is important to exchange of good practices. It is important to uh, create networking um, and uh, volunteering because it is something that always is alive and is changing. Uh, so we need to adapt. Um, that's why uh, I would like to say that I'm very satisfied that uh, I see you all today and the, the important job you are doing. Um, because if we, if we want to have a sector that is uh, that actually empowers civil societies, uh, if we want to have a sector that actually pass the uh, the values that we need to pass to all Europe, um, I think that's where we need to start from the volunteers, and we need to support volunteers. We need to give them an, a positive environment that. Um, the, it is supportive, uh, and in the end of the day, um, all this volunteer work uh, needs to have uh, an impact. Uh, so um, it's it is uh, nice to hear the what you did up to now. Uh, I hope this will continue and take this uh, knowledge and use it uh, to transfer it to other people. Um, in Cyprus, uh, actually, we are the, one of the few countries that, that we do have a political position for the sector. We do implement policies uh, for the sector, and things are changing in the right direction, actually, and very fast. Um, and of course, um, in Cyprus also, I, I do support uh, the European Solidarity Corps program because I, I, I see there's a very good opportunity, especially for young people to use it, uh, because it is an experience that they cannot gain otherwise. So um, continue the good work uh, and uh, whatever you need, uh, I'm here to support you because I do believe uh, uh, especially uh, it, it, these kind of uh, programs that promote um, the opportunity for the young people to learn more uh, and, and gain experiences. Thank you so much for your message, Mr. Mr. Yanakis. Uh, it is always nice to see uh, how um, different stakeholders can come together and uh, and support, as uh, as Mr. Commissioner said, um, the young volunteers who you know they have an impact in our communities. And if the support we give to them is appropriate, that the impact will surely be bigger, and we can see bigger and most uh, importantly. Um, stronger maybe changes in the communities that we live in. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, joining us today. Before moving on to our next steps, we'll, which will be the um, workshop pitches, uh, I will stop for a moment and invite you to check your, uh, to check the chat of the, of the group because uh, we have prepared for you a special Padlet where you can go in and uh, share tools that you find relevant for the themes of the um, of the team for the workshops. You can uh, use the Padlet to make connections, to do some networking, to leave your business cards, um, and anything else that you feel like it's relevant for you at this time. So do not hesitate to go on the Padlet and um, and join everybody everybody there. It will also be a very good uh, tool to use because we will not be able to join all the workshops, uh, unfortunately. So uh, it, is, uh, it is great that you have this space where you can uh, share and we can share all the tools that we have prepared. Okay, uh, I will now move on to the pitches and you will get to know some uh, of the members uh, of the teams which uh, are here today with us ready to share their work with you uh, and to in order to help them i will also show you the titles of their workshops so the first workshop we are proposing today is one two three steps for long-term cooperation i will invite the team who has prepared this workshop to say a few words about it i think ben should be joining us 
I don't know if Ben is already here. He, he needs to join. He's on another event in, in Marseille, I think he wrote. And he tries to enter with a mobile phone. And we had some COVID-19 related issues with the rest of the team, which uh, gave us quite a trouble, not only on the professional, but also on the personal level. Um, so um, Ben will join this workshop and uh, I will be the technical support there and uh, sharing my screen. And the idea is to support with this workshop to present a few tools which might help organizations in uh, establishing and keeping and maintaining their long-term corporations in the partnerships in ESC projects. Um, more I cannot share with you for the moment, but you are uh, warmly invited to join this, how to say, uh, uh, slightly modified workshops due to lack uh, of uh, <laughs> the current pandemic situation. Say it like this, we will maintain the workshop, we will run the workshop, uh, um, but it will be most probably implemented in a slightly different way than planned, nevertheless. Thank you so much, Marcus. It is true that uh, we are in the context that we are in, and uh, there are also the gods of technology who are not always smiling upon us. As you can see, this is what happens in live online uh, events. And then, uh, the, of course, the context of, of the pandemic has brought challenges everywhere, and we are not an exception. But uh, everyone is doing their best, and I think that uh, this is what is most important. Uh, we will now move on to the next um, workshop, workshop number two, Seedling Water Tree, Playful Learning Processing Tool. Anna, are you with us? Yeah, uh, fortunately the gods of technology are on my side today. I'm with you, I'm Oksana, uh, joining you from Lviv, Ukraine. And on behalf of Learning Process Working Group, I would like you all to invite you to play together with us. Why? Because our group has created a playful learning tool that would help uh, mentors or other people who support volunteers at their e um, ESK experience uh, guide their volunteers um, through their learning process and help us understand how we turn a volunteer experience into a conclusion, into a learning lesson. So this uh, session would be the most useful for volunteers as well as mentors or other people who uh, are responsible for this learning process role uh, in the organization. And you are warmly invited to welcome us, uh, to join us. Thank you so much, Oksana, for these uh, short introductions. We are moving on with workshop number three, holistic evaluation, how? Let's see who will be uh, telling us a few words about it. Uh, thank you, Bibi. Uh, the main goal of the workshop is to provide an evaluation tool to people that work in volunteerism, mentors, tutors, volunteers, etc., so they can uh, understand in a holistic way how to um, uh, prevent unpleasant situations with the volunteers during the service in European Solidarity Corps. So more info in our workshop. By the way, I'm Kelly. I'm from uh, Euphoria organization from Greece. And uh, together with my colleague Kiki and uh, Berka from Sweden, we are uh, looking forward to host you in our workshop. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kelly. Uh, for this presentation, we are moving on in our pitching marathon uh, with meaning of supervision, workshop number four. Let's see what this is about. Good afternoon. My name is Maria. I'm from Italy. Um, in our workshop, we are going to explore together the meaning of supervision. Um, it will be an open space to exchange uh, uh, different points of view and uh, share good practice. So between people who are working in the organization and who are working with you. So if you are interested in this project and can stop it, um, I invite you to join us so we can, uh, let's say, make this journey together. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Maria. We are moving on. We are running to workshop number five, mentoring. How to choose a great mentor for your volunteer. 
let's see what this is about. <laughs> Thank you, Bianca. So um, I'm Sofia, I come from France and uh, with Kaya from Slovenia, we uh, created a, an online tool uh, to help organization matching men mentors and volunteers. So as you probably know, volunteering can be a bit confusing and sometimes although it's hard to involve people from the local community with the volunteers. So that's why we created this tool. And if you like uh, is a, if you are a coordinator, mentors, volunteers, or you're just curious about uh, the mentoring ideas and you want to discuss it with us, you are re really welcome to our workshop. See you later, I hope. Thank you, Sophia. We are going further to workshop number six, guide to a volunteer's task management and online booklet. Let's hear more about it. Hi. Um, thank you everyone for joining, for watching, welcome. I am Eleonora, I'm from Cyprus, and I am representing the working group of task management. We formed this group from our own need to discuss the topic um, of task management when working with volunteers, putting down the different steps of this process, um, um, making, figuring out the differences between each stage, um, exchanging tools that we use and uh, coming up with maybe new ideas of suggestions and tips to follow during this process. And therefore, we would like to invite you to our workshop to share with you the tool that we came up we came up with, which is basically an online booklet, a guide through the process of a volunteer task management. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eleonora. We are moving on to workshop number seven, local impact ESC volunteers at schools in Cyprus. Let's hear a bit about it. Hello, everyone. I'm Francesco. I'm from Italy. And I'm an ESC volunteer in Cyprus at Politistico Ergastiri. And our workshop is um, about the role of uh, schools in boosting uh, local impact in ESC volunteering. Uh, more specifically, uh, the teachers that are working in schools have prepared uh, different presentations uh, about the role of schools and teachers in ESC volunteering and how to increase the, um, the impact of a project with uh, useful tools. And if you're interested, join us. Thank you so much, Francesco. Just to uh, make a short revision, these are your options for today's event. These are the seven workshops which will be happening uh, at the same time. So they will be parallel workshops uh, and you will have um, the choice of going into one of them. Um, I would not uh, like to be in your shoes right now, to be honest, because it is hard to choose from them. You've seen many beautiful people, I'm sure. You've seen uh, the different countries that they come from and their different um, experiences that they bring to the table. So um, I am sure it is not an easy choice to make, uh, but nevertheless, we have to make it and we hope you will have um, a great experience in doing so. Uh, before we move on, I would like to remind you that there is hope. <laughs> we have the Padlet uh, and the, the link uh, to it, you can find it in the chat. Uh, the tech team will uh, put it there again, uh, maybe or not, if you can find it a bit upper in the chat. Uh, so you can go in there and you can find there um, all the tools that have been created now and all the tools that uh, other people share. You can share your own tools depending on the theme uh, of the workshop. And of course, you can use this space to uh, create new connections, to um, do a bit of networking um, and anything else, as I've said before, that you find relevant for your uh, process in our online event. Uh, before moving to our breakout rooms, I would like to take this moment uh, and say that our live broadcast this session will be over here. Uh, and we'll have an end here because we will be moving into breakout rooms. The, those will not be transmitted live. So before we say goodbye to those uh, of us who are watching on Facebook, I will please um, um, ask you to uh, not forget to ask for the registering um, link to this event if you want to join 
the parallel workshops uh, because this is the only way that uh, you can participate in them. Uh, if this was all for today, I will uh, say goodbye. Thank you again for choosing to, to watch us on Facebook and to being here with us. Uh, and we hope that uh, we will be together with us in, uh, in future events. Good luck with, uh, with everything that you are working on and have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.